The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 138 I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. Before the gods I will sing your praise. I will bow down toward your holy temple, and will praise your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness. For you have so exalted your solemn decree that it surpasses your fame. When I called, you answered me. You greatly emboldened me. May all the kings of the earth praise you, Lord, when they hear what you have decreed. May they sing of the ways of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord is great. Though the Lord is exalted, he looks kindly on the lowly. Though lofty, he sees them from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand you save me. The Lord will vindicate me. Your love, Lord, endures for ever. Do not abandon the work of your hands. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 to 20 When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But what about you? he asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he ordered his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Collect for the Eleventh Sunday After Trinity O God, you declare your almighty power most chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Mercifully grant to us such a measure of your grace that we, running the way of your commandments, may receive your gracious promises, and be made partakers of your heavenly treasure, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Jesus asked Peter, Who do you say that I am? We know that there are many different answers to this question. 
Let us pray for our brothers and sisters who share our faith in Jesus Christ, that God may gather and keep together in one church all those who seek the truth with sincerity. Almighty and eternal God, you keep together those you have united. Look kindly on all who follow Jesus, your Son. We are all consecrated to you by our common baptism. Make us one in the fullness of faith, and keep us one in the fellowship of love. Let us pray for the Jewish people, the first to hear the word of God, that they may continue to grow in the love of his name and in faithfulness to his covenant. Almighty and eternal God, Long ago you gave your promise to Abraham and his posterity. Listen to your church as we pray that the people you first made your own may arrive at the fullness of redemption. Let us pray for the Muslim community as they struggle to find their place in the modern secular world, that they may be true to their calling as servants of the one true God. Almighty and eternal God, you raise up prophets in every age to declare your will to mankind. Help us to reach out to our brothers and sisters of every faith in a spirit of mutual respect and love. Let us pray for those who do not believe in God, that they may find him by sincerely following all that is right. Almighty and eternal God, you created mankind so that all might long to find you and have peace when you are found. Grant that, in spite of the hurtful things that stand in their way, they may recognize in the lives of Christians the tokens of your love and mercy and gladly acknowledge you as the God and Father of all. Let us pray for those who serve us in public office, that God may guide their minds and hearts, so that all may live in true peace and freedom. Almighty and eternal God, you know the longings of people's hearts, and you protect their rights. In your goodness, watch over those in authority, so that people everywhere may enjoy religious freedom security and peace. Let us pray, dear friends, that God the Almighty Father may heal the sick, comfort the dying, give safety to travellers, free those unjustly deprived of liberty, and rid the world of falsehood, hunger and disease. Almighty ever-living God, you give strength to the weary and new courage to those who have lost heart. Hear the prayers of all who call on you in any trouble, that they may have the joy of receiving your help in their need. We ask all these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may find comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen.